only custom room which i found is actually more powerful vanilla build which means without google apps great customizations overall one of the best ones out there this is the custom room which i am talking about right now i've installed in redmi note 10 pro by the way and using android version 11 it's updating to android 11 versions with as you can see i'm using the security patch of march 2022 which means i'm using the latest build here while making this video the thing is this room is actually great just because it's vanilla and it has all the interesting things like features etc let's just take let me just show you the my favorite things about this one the favorite features from my side why i love this build so much because uh, first of all the default launcher as you can see icons home screen etc all the customizations are available here for you looks quite good of course you don't need any kind of customizable launcher called a launcher or maybe one plus launcher or anything almost because all the features are already present by default so yes this is what you were looking for it's already present one thing if you're able to see you can see the blur this looks quite amazing and as you can see the blur is enabled and my device has no lags nothing at all if the blur is enabled blur looks quite good you can customize the quick settings according to your own preferences this room is actually great another interesting thing about this one is you have all the useful things fingerprint face unlock app lock everything is already present here by default you don't need any kind of separate things or any kind of third party apps for that no other custom room has all these features yes there might be another custom room which has all these features but not all there might be some differences here and there if you move on to the battery things let me tell you one thing you can of course reset the stats if you want to which is of course quite useful and if you move on to the battery manager uh, if you move on to the battery saver and performance option you have the automatic power saver you have the extreme power saver whatever you are looking for everything is already present you also have the smart charging option available this is what I was talking about smart charging which which matters a lot for some of the devices some of the users it will automatically turn off the charging at certain level whichever you will set for example i have set at 100 percent so whenever 100 percent the battery reaches at 100 percent the current will stop and your device charging will be stopped at that time looks quite interesting and same like that if you move on some customizations smart charging i've just shown you swipe to screenshot of course quite useful gaming mode is also there and you can even adjust the screenshot quality if if you want to things are basically quite interesting you can even customize the charging sounds in this one which of course looks quite interesting if you want to customize these things you can very easily without having any kind of issues without facing any kind of issues i'm not talking about the bugs or etc because those might be device specific here you have the option to customize for example the notifications where you have the heads up less boring heads up all the things i think so might be a very good choice so this is called a cr droid it is also available based on android 12 it is also available based on android 12.1 which includes some customizations and animations and if you need that one make sure to comment below i will try to make a video on that too if you move on to these things customization section everything i have already shared with you these were things i just want to let you know about this latest cr droid version and i am i'm just recommending you to install this build if you need customizations i'm not talking about this room is great or this room is awesome but this room is good only for those users who need customizations on their devices alongside with all the latest updates and alongside if you don't need google apps much google apps that's why it's here goodbye